let's read the next one that we are given. So the next one says to us here, uh, below shows the weather forecast with the maximum and the minimum temperatures for three cities. And if we look at the cities here, it says here for the 29th of April, 2017. Weather forecast with maximum minimum temperatures. So as mentioned above, the cities do not have names. We've got city A, B, and C. So the cities do not have names. And the cities not having names is not a big deal because we're not asked for the names um, of those cities. So it says to us maximum and minimum over there. So we've got the maximum and we've got the minimum. And then we can see that the maximum um, for A over there is 24 and the minimum is six. And we can see um, that for B, the maximum is 32 and the minimum is 26. That must have been a really hot day um, for that particular place. And then C, the maximum is eight and the minimum is minus seven. And then we've got a nice cloud cover, sun and cloud cover um, little situation happening over there. And we've got our pictures and then we've got percentage chance of rain. And we can see for city A, the percentage there is 59%. I'm just gonna make that a little percentage. And then 0% for city B, meaning impossible, meaning nothing, okay? And then for city C, it means that for B, you wouldn't even carry an umbrella on that day because you're not expecting rain whatsoever. And then C, um, we've got 3%, which is very little, okay? Let's go down and see. I haven't even read my questions. Can you see how thoroughly I go through it um, before I even have my questions? So it says there, use table one, which is the table above, identify the city with the lowest temperature. So... The city with the lowest temperature, let's go up and see there. Um, automatically, I can see that it's going to be city C. And that's two marks. I'm going to write it over here. So automatically, it's going to be city C. Stunning. Calculate the temperature range for city C. So, okay, I, I don't have enough space for that. Range is maximum minus minimum and we know that um, from data handling we know that from data handling let's go and calculate that so 1.3.1 we said was city c and then 1.3.2 um, is asking us for the range and we know from data handling that range is equals to maximum minus minimum. We know that, guys. These are the things that you need to know. You cannot walk into an exam without knowing what the range um, is. So then if we look up here, we've got our maximum and minimum temperatures. And what we need to do is take the maximum and subtract. Um, we're subtracting the minimum from the maximum. So what are we doing um, when we're subtracting? So it's going to be 8 minus minus 7 because it's minus 7. Don't just say um, 8 minus 7 because that is going to give you 1. And that's totally incorrect. So don't forget to include that minus. It makes a huge, huge difference. Um, that is now us talking something totally different, um, grade one, two, three stuff. So let's go put that in our calculator. No one is asking you to know that off by head, um, off by head, off by heart. Eight minus, I'm gonna put my bracket there, minus seven because the temperature is a negative seven. So the range is giving me, oh, it's giving me an error. Let's try that again. And if it's giving me an error, it's also okay. Um, let's see, eight, Minus, there we go. Oh, there we go. We need to put it with that one. I think. Let's go see if it gives me the correct one. Oh, there. Perfect. Gives me 15. We've just learned something new um, together over there. So 15 is going to be my range.